The further north you go, mm -hmm. the colder it's going to get, the more snow and Absolutely. ice you're going to see too. But we've been talking about this as well in northwest Arkansas along Interstate 49 near Springdale. These are some of the conditions we have been seeing mm. over the past what day now? Yes. It has been rough. And Chief Meteorologist Matt Standridge from our sister station is going to tell us a little bit more from northwest Arkansas. Guys, it's getting really cold. If you are headed westbound towards the River Valley, or Northwest Arkansas, you gotta watch out for slick spots. Maybe you're trying to see family before Christmas. We have picked up between one and two inches anywhere from the mountains and into Northwest Arkansas, closer to a dusting in the River Valley. This is what it looked like, the snow blowing around. It was really dry, very dusty. It was just swirling right around uh, the interstate. You got some snow drifts too as you get closer to the shoulder. So just be advised there are slick spots here in the Western half of the state. But reporting from Northwest Arkansas, we're gonna send it back to you guys in Central Arkansas. All right, we appreciate it. And here at home, we don't have the same impacts exactly right. as Northwest Arkansas, but there are some slick spots coming in early to work this morning. We all saw We all saw them this morning. Drove a little safe. Ice, I'm, yeah. Got here a little late this morning, by the way, but that's okay. The right, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Arkansas Department of Transportation, those teams were out treating those roads, and Wake Up Central's Michaela Johnson joins us now with their plans for today. Michaela? Hayden, Karen, if you're driving around the metro today, like you said, you'll see those slick spots, but you'll also see some of the salt brine mixture RDOT used to treat the roads. And Dave Parker with RDOT is actually here to tell us more about RDOT's response. Dave, Dave, thank you so much for waking up with us and joining us today to talk about this. So you joined us about an hour hour ago, but if there's someone new here, tell us a little bit about the response yesterday. The rain came a little bit earlier than expected. There was that flash freeze. Tell me how RDOT responded. Uh, can you repeat that? I'm sorry, a flash freeze. Uh, I didn't get the first part of that, please. No, that's okay. Just tell us how y'all responded. We got that rain a little bit earlier. Tell us how RDOT responded to all of this. Uh, well, you know, we, we again just tried to stay a couple of steps ahead of everything. The, the storm came in as scheduled, which was really a benefit to us, so we could kind of know what the next move is. But we, we started out with the, the salt brine earlier in the week, and we shifted over to the straight salt uh, when the temperatures really took that, that big dip. And, and we've just been out patrolling all night, and things look pretty good. I just got a report in uh, as of 5 this morning, and all 10 districts uh, were reporting a clear, passable primary roads, the secondary roads actually in pretty good shape too. So we knew this was not a big snowmaker, certainly in the, uh, the Little Rock area, uh, but it was the, uh, the bitter cold, the quick drop in temperature that was going to give us a little bit of a challenge. But I think overall things look pretty good. I'm happy to report that uh, roads are in good shape. Be careful if you have to head out today. And I think by maybe two, three o'clock, it may get up to 20 degrees. So <laughs> that's encouraging. Yes, absolutely. Definitely looking a lot better, but we talked earlier in the week about how RDOT prepared for all of this and the salt brine mixture possibly not as effective because of just how cold it is. Tell me about if that was the case for yesterday. Yes, it, it was the case. You know, uh, we, we put down certain abrasives, certain uh, things on the road to make it uh, safe and, and everything, but obviously, you know, when the temperature changes, when Mother Nature does this and that, we have to adjust. And uh, so we do have enough supplies in our arsenal, if you will. Uh, we knew the temperature was going to get down single digits. So we had those chemicals, those products planned out, and we're smart in using them. And it, it worked effectively. Uh, and we hit a point even where we quit putting materials down because it would refreeze and actually, in some cases, cause uh, some patches of ice. We certainly didn't want to do that. But my message this morning is, is you have to get out and travel. I know it's a huge day. It's Friday. Christmas is just days away. Is uh, Just still take it slow if you can. There are going to be some patches of ice as you're getting on and off the, the interstates and the highway. So be smart out there. Plenty of sunshine this afternoon. That would definitely help us out in some of the melting. Not a lot, but a little bit of it. Absolutely. Great advice for this morning. Thank you so much, Dave. Stay warm and we hope you have a good Christmas holiday. For now, I'm Michaela Johnson for Wake Up Central.